live stream. I already seen Halcyons here because we have a big list of neons today. Hell yeah. I'm just joking. But we are <laughs> talking about some of the ugliest cars ever produced. These are actual factory cars that came off the production line. And it's amazing. Someone bought them. Maybe even multiple people bought them. We don't know why they did, but we're going to talk about them. Don't forget wheels, tires, suspension, fitministries.com. And guess what? You know what's going on right now, Joe? Oh, I know what's going on. Yeah, right. Black Friday deals all month long. We started rolling some of our deals out. They're absolutely crazy. We got sales on airlift, like 10% off. We have 15, 52, 25% off right now, which means you buy a set of four, you basically get a wheel free. That's insane. So a yeah. bunch of different deals on the website right now, yeah. and we're going to keep rolling them out through the month. You don't know when they're going to pop up. So make sure to head on, head on over to the website <laughs> yeah. and check that out and check every day because we'll be releasing new deals. Yeah. These are some of the best deals like of like the, the year. The entire year, yeah. Like, you know, airlift is like, this is one of like the biggest like, uh, deals that they have like all year round. There's a lot of companies that have like the biggest deals all year round. So it's like now's the time you've been waiting to buy something. Yeah. Go check it out. Check out all the deals got going on. But you know what's bigger than that? What's more important than that? What? Your haircut. No. Like you cut teeth. You <laughs> like you cut teeth. Oh boy. Chad is just lighting up and blushing. Oh lordy. Oh, it's all cute. I, uh, good. It's really weird without a hat, I must say. I feel a little bit <laughs> naked on the stream. But, oh uh, boy. You know, I'll be Dakota OnlyFans to just add me. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, God. It's not a thing. It will never be a thing. <laughs> Anyways, moving forward. If you're not into air suspension, we do have a giveaway going on with BC Racing. So head on over to the store. Check it out. We have three different pieces of apparel, including this hoodie, which is literally my favorite hoodie we've done. That's awesome. Yet every $5 spent gets you an entry in to win some BC Racing coilovers. We will be announcing the winner live. So yeah. we did a bunch of spiels for you guys. Thank you for sticking around. <laughs> Thank you for coming in here. I'm excited to talk to you guys, hang out for a bit. I think we should hop into the cars and start reviewing the ugly ducklings of the car world. Hell yeah. So we both put together a list here. and We don't know them. Joe's picked yeah. his. I picked mine. So... I guess, how do you want to go about this? You want to go over like back back and forth or what, what's the deal? Yeah, okay. we'll do back and forth. All right, we'll start with one of yours here. Because uh, what, what we realized is me and Joe's didn't know what cars we picked. Joe's picked more like factory, like m more popular cars that people own. Mine are really out there, weird, <laughs> really ugly, like advanced ugly. It's so. advanced ugly. All right, so first car of the day. I knew this one was going to make. I mean, this is a staple. G. This yeah. is like, yeah, well known as probably like one of the most ugliest cars. Although I'm going to say. That not, one's dumped. That one's not So that yeah, bad. this is the Fiat <laughs> Mul multipla multipla which is an ugly you name multiply it's word diarrhea cars. yeah they literally yeah <laughs> multiplied cars by putting one on top of the other one so if you can pull up uh, let's pull up a big image of a just oh a, yeah dude it's that, a 20th that 20th anniversary that's a 40th <laughs> multipla yeah. it's just Mul multipla so this literally looks like two ugly cars that got fused together yes and that is just one heap of ugly so it had two rows of three seats it was made from 2008 to 2013. It won Top Gear Car of the Year like in 2000. Joke. It's like a joke? No, because <laughs> in the same like episode, it won Ugliest Car. Ah. So it okay. also it got Best Car and Ugliest Car. I don't know what the best part is about it because it came in a 1.6 liter in line four, but it did also have a 1.9 diesel. Diesel, baby. Hell diesel yeah. power. You Listen, know how diesels get. If those things couldn't get any uglier, <laughs> I it came in a diesel. <laughs> you imagine, imagine hearing that? Like, oh, what's that? And you turn around and this thing's coming imagine at you. Imagine it with a hood dump. <laughs> Just rolling Stop. coal. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Don't give him ideas. Don't give him ideas. There's a boy in the Northwoods that's been like, oh, I'm going to give you one of these. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so the, the multipla, absolutely horrendous. The good news is, we, is that the, the 2021 oh, redesign. That's a Tesla. Look, yeah, it's uh, the <laughs> multipla, multipla truck. Yeah, multipla Tesla. Triangle multiple truck. truck. <laughs> what is that, a camera in there? Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. That looks stupid. Right. Stop. <laughs> Fiat, stop it. Get some help. <laughs> this is horrendous. Oh, my God. Okay, bro. so, yeah, moving forward. That's all I got on the Fiat. Multiple. The Fiat but what multiple. I think we should do is we should probably rate them on, on the, the ugly ugliness? scale. On the ugliness? Yeah. Okay. How hard did these cars get beat with the ugly stick? We're going to say <laughs> 10 is the absolute ugliest duckling of the bunch, and one is actually that looks pretty damn schnazzy. Yeah. So... 10 being the worst. Let's see it in the chat. What are you guys thinking first? Uh, rate this. Remember, 10 is it was absolutely pounded to death with the ugly stick, and one was you'd probably drop it on some wheels, tires, and suspension from FitMinistries.com. 
Eight, eight, six. We got parts for Fiat Multiplus? Uh, you can do whatever you want with enough money. I wonder what a bolt pattern a Fiat Multiplus Nine, is. ten, LCN says nine. One. Oh, Asher he loves the multiplus. We got, got a lot one. of eights. I'm seeing a lot of eights. Now, this is early in the night. I don't yeah, want to. I'm scared. I, I don't want to <laughs> jump out there with a ten or anything, but I do yeah. have a number in mind. Okay. Yeah, I got one. All right. Three, two, one, nine. Eight. Oh, damn. Yeah, that, these are pretty ugly cars, man. They're. They're the only thing it's got going for it is it does look like it has hella room. Can you imagine that is true, yeah. if you got this thing tinted, it's your like tinter a, would like be like, bucks. yeah, that's going to be 800 bucks, bud. You <laughs> see the windows? Everything is like a windshield on that car. It has like one, two, three, four, five, six yeah. windshields on it. Visit, and then it's got, I think it's got like a giant like sunroof on it too from the looks of Oh, yeah, it does. Thing. It did come with a sunroof. I read that. Oh, my God, bro. That's a lot of glass. Anyways, all right, let's move on to the next car. We've got a lot of tens all in the chat, right, so too. My, my first one, if you probably guessed, if you've been around the channel a while, you heard me talk about it. <laughs> oh, We've argued this about it. We've got fights about it. I had a guy come to my house for my housewarming party with his yeah. and said, you need to come sit in this because you don't like them. I think I'll change your mind. It didn't. It did have dope Recaros, though. It did have Anyways. dope Recaros, and that oh. is the Nissan Duke. <laughs> this might make some people mad. I don't care. These cars are so damn Ugly. Well, bro. tell me about it. Okay, I don't have. I didn't. Well, you didn't have the stats, but like, yeah. tell me what you dislike. What is, what okay. makes it ugly, Jones? Specifically, it's just the, the, the. First of all, they sit like sky high, so it's like an SUV. <laughs> it is an SUV, right? They got like these massive, like what you would think be fog lights, but no, the fog lights are below it, and they're also not headlights because the headlights are also above it. It's just like three different lights going on right now and yeah. I don't know how to feel it. I, it looks like the front end of a frog about ready to jump it out of a It does look exactly like a frog. I agree. <laughs> uh, hopping in real quick. Amrit, thank you so much for the $4.99 donation. As you guys have taught me a lot about mods. Big love from London. Oh, I appreciate yeah, that awesome. so much. That's and so that cool. is dope that you're from London. That's really cool to hear that. Like, <laughs> I don't know, we're from Wisconsin. It's just weird that you're watching from London. Super cool. Thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. So I see some people sticking up for it. They're like, well, the Nismo and the Juke are pretty dope. The Nismo is a turd with a Recaros. <laughs> <laughs> the Recaro seats yeah. in the Nismo, I think it was yeah. only certain Nismos. I must admit, I sat in the yeah. same one I was at Joe's party. It was kind of dope. So, like, it hit a soft spot. Yeah. I was like, oh, Juke, you're trying so hard. Yeah, like, they do have a good power plant. A like, base model Juke, they, though, is probably they it is horrendous. They just look terrible. <laughs> But, okay, let's compare it a little bit to the Fiat Multipla. Okay. Not as bad as the Multipla. Okay, so you are saying that. Yeah. It, the uh, there's frog, a frog in yes. chat, and frog does in the look. Exact, I hate those. So are those the fog lights, the big circle know, ones? I don't know. I haven't done much research. Into this, I haven't so done I much research. Research. <laughs> there's what, so many different. what I imagine this car would sound like. In potential the headlights. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like, like these, these could be the headlights. Those are, you know, fog lights, except the fog lights are down here. So, like, what? what? <laughs> Are these just like the daytime running lights and these are the headlights? Like, I don't the, know. The brights and the regular? I... Oh, here we go. Unrendered. Thank you. Always coming in the <laughs> chat. Appreciate your $10 donation. It says, Wednesday, hype! Like the cut G. Thank you. Waiting for the Aztec to roll up here. Yeah, the Aztec's yeah. another uh, <laughs> ugly duckling. I agree. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you for always coming in the live stream, too. I remember you. Yeah. I appreciate you chiming mm -hmm. in. That's dope. Uh, shout out to all you guys in the chat. Wednesdays are the best. But I want to hear your ratings on the juke. Yeah. What are you thinking? Amrit says, these look so weird slammed to the ground. I would believe it because it's like they have like such a tall roof line yeah. and everything, yeah. too. Oh, like someone said it, too. See, there, is, there are some oh, people that do I know. like and their jukes. And I know jukes. I'm going to make people angry. Four and a half, seven. Seven, four, six, nine, six, six. All right, they're kind of this. This is a wide spectrum here. Yeah. So, some people just genuinely like these cars, and yeah. a lot of people do hate them as well. Yeah. Are you ready to rate it? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let me think. We're talking about base model juke. Yeah. Base okay. model juke. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one, six. Seven and a half. Yeah. I honestly thought you were gonna go a bit higher because I've yeah. heard you talk so many times about how much you hate jukes. It's just when the people just they swear by them. And they do stupid mods to them. They're like, oh, it's so cool. It's like just like plastic. You met a lot of juke owners? Oh, no, dude, it's, you'd be surprised. All right. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving on. Let's hop on over the list. All right. Uh, don't forget, guys, a bunch of deals going on for the entire month of November. I can't stress it enough because these are our biggest sales of the entire year. It's a big deal. So hop on over to fitministries.com, check them out. Anyways. Oh, my God, I forgot about here this. Here we go. <laughs> Nissan back S to back. The S Cargo. It's literally <laughs> a snail. And it's named that. The Nissan S Cargo. Nissan, what it. are you doing? Dude, I love it. You love. Okay, so this was made from 1989 
to 1991. I don't know if you want to click one to make okay, it a little yeah, bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one, which one do you like? Do you uh, like the, the 20th? Yeah. <laughs> that ain't yellow. Well, that's like sand. Oh, this one's got wood trim. Oh, okay, that one's a good one. That one's <laughs> I, someone modified it. All it's right. like a PT Cruiser. Well, okay. <laughs> Made from 1989 to 1991, the S Cargo featured was featured on Business Week's list of 50 ugliest cars <laughs> of the past 50 years. Oh man, this thing, dude! Look at that A pillar that goes all the way to I'm the trying fender. To, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the double like window. Doesn't this car double have... rain guards? <laughs> no. <laughs> Now this is the jumps. final boss. Yeah, yes. Oh, we got <laughs> oh, no. snails in the chat. Hell yeah. Chinese Miata? No, I don't see. Well, it kind of has the headlight thing. But look, just look at this for a second. The S cargo. This thing looks like if you hit the brakes hard enough, you could just roll it over and then it would just <laughs> land back on its wheels. Yeah. Um, another thing on this, so it was 1.5 liter uh, inline four paired with a three speed automatic. So this thing wasn't <laughs> winning a, any races either. It was, you know. Yeah. Properly named S Cargo because it is a snail, looks like a snail, we moves like a snail, States, did we? probably smells like a snail. Oh yeah. No, I I, I don't think so. I've never guy. seen one cruising around. Um, I like how you, the one you clicked on the Nissan S Cargo, world's 15 ugliest <laughs> cars. Perfect. CBS. Yeah. Perfect. These are bad. I don't know if you want to click on a couple of them. That A pillar oh, that yeah. just. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to drive one because it's weird. It's like a. HHR panel that <laughs> smashed into a Miata. It's like if a four-year-old drew an HHR. <laughs> is, yeah, yeah if you, you drew a PT Cruiser as a kid or something, that's kind of what it came out oh, to. Oh, hell yeah, my, That thing looks like a hazard, bro. Like, it looks like it would just, you could walk up and just push it over. It looks like a helmet. Could you stand up in there? Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, it's a cargo. I think there's a door in there. Just a straight up, like, inside yeah. the car. Oh, look at the, okay, here's the back. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, we got another donation. Uh, Wilder, thank you for the 4.99 donation. Says if there you don't mention point. the Nissan Murano convertible, I'm definitely gonna have to unsubscribe. Uh oh. There's a Nissan Murano convertible. I didn't know that. Oh. We might have to look that one up. Yeah, Jasper's in the chat as well. Oh, what's up, Jasper? Jasper, miss you, baby. <laughs> he said no phone and poop around. No. <laughs> he also said well, this Max car, no. the S car, go needs some subs and some TE 37s. Yeah. You already know. Yeah, then oh, you'd yeah. be stunting, as Jasper oh, would say. Anyways, moving forward, uh, yeah, are you ready what? to rate this or what? This one covered in, like, AstroTurf? What's that one it? looks like it's trying to be oh, like the dog a, from Jurassic Dumb and Dumber. Jurassic Park one. Oh. No, I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know what any of them are, oh. to be honest with you. Oh, hell yeah. They're just hideous. Anyways. I like Chat, that. what are you thinking on this one? What are you feeling before we rate? I think it's pretty horrendous. Imagine a hard sound system <laughs> put into a meat in this thing. <laughs> I want to make it into like a food truck, then maybe. Oh, a lot of ones. What the hell? Jeez. Okay, a bunch of sixes, a bunch of sixes, uh, so nines. Ten, 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 ten. Worst thing ever. All right, sevens, fives, sixes, Remember, zero. Higher the uglier. Yeah, higher, higher the, the uglier. uglier. Got hit with one the being, ugly. One being so your I'm, car. So in my head, I'm going to compare this to the Fiat Multipla. Multipla. Yeah. I think the Fiat Multipla is worse. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. What did I rate that? Eight? Uh, eight, yeah. Eight oh, yeah. I did a nine, you did an eight. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm ready to rate it. Okay. Three, two, one, Three. six and a half. So I'm gonna say a little bit worse than the juke. Not as bad as the multiple. You didn't hear my rating. You didn't hear it. No, I didn't. I said, I said three. You like this thing yeah, that much? It's cool. You're a weird kid. I like it. I don't You're know. You're weird. Joe's weird. Can we get Joe's Something weird in the chat? Joe's weird. Joe's weird. <laughs> All right. Uh, just Ultra. Thank you for the two dollar donation. What the character on the ice cream par looks like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Is that ice cream? Is that what Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep moving forward here. All righty. Oh, boy. All right, we're back on the mind, right? Dude, got a Nissan. Jo Joe's weird. Nissan just getting a <laughs> oh, hit. Oh, my God. We're Left and right. Okay. Back to back. To be to fair, back. Nissan has made some of the best cars of all time from but they've the, also made the some skylines the and everything. Worse. Yeah, and they're all oddly geometrically shaped. Hey, you're, I mean, when you're throwing stuff out there, you're gonna have a few <laughs> hits and a few misses. LCM might get a little uh, triggered here. He says yes because I think this is pretty close to a Kia Soul. No, no, they're no. similar. It's like well, this one got sanded down and rounded out. <laughs> Cubes yeah. are disgusting though. I, they're too round. The window in the back is too weird. Yeah, because it got like that one like quarter window. It's like it doesn't have like a pillar back there. It's just yeah. like rounded up. It's weird, man. Yeah, so this is a Nissan Cube, another like boxy little toaster thing that 
Nissan did. I don't know what. It's weird, honestly, compared to the other cars on the list. Well, I, this is milder, yeah. much milder. However, it's, it's like hard a, to say. It's like a more like rounded Scion XB. Like I remember, I think these came out around the same time. I feel like that the was question the is, yeah, would you daily it? Oh. Uh, you were about to say, oh, hell yeah. I was about to say, oh, hell no. Oh, oh, But then oh. I thought, I'm like, well, I mean. I mean, if one pops in your lap for 500 bucks. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, then, see, it can't be that bad. A $500 daily, bro? Yeah, that's I mean, what I'm depending saying. Depending how clapped it was. I mean, what people are doing to these things. Nissan Cube. They Nissan should call cubes. it, like, the Nissan Sphere. <laughs> really just. It's rounded out cube. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have too much on this one. I think it's. Yeah, it kind of speaks for itself. There's not much about the cube. You've yeah. seen them. Yeah, you picked it. What do you yeah. hate about it most? I mean, just that window thing is weird. I yeah, hate, the like, window is. Asymmetrical It looks things like a just, camper window. Yeah, kind of. asymmetrical <laughs> things just piss me off to no extent. And the fact that they did that on purpose just hurts the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> All right, chat, what do you think on this one? I'm seeing some fives, fours already. Four and a half. That's fair. I, I can kind of agree with that. Yeah. It's kind of, I'm yeah. in the same boat. In it's the not same terrible. Realm. It's Three, just 33, another two, one of those four, cars seven, where you're three, just 10, like, 10, 10, 10, 10, 4, 3. Oh, Halcyon with this 10. Just hates all these. You just, <laughs> it's your cubed brethren. <laughs> We're his blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper says 10, 10, 10, following with Halcyon. We got 4, 11, Joseph with a 5. Kia Soul Gang. Remember, 10 is the <laughs> ugliest thing you've ever seen on the planet. <laughs> oh, there can only be one. That's, all right, true. Fair yeah. enough. Yep. Fair enough there. So okay. Out here. You ready to rate this, Joe? Yeah, I'm ready. I don't know. Yeah, I'm ready. Right. Three, two, one, four. Seven. I don't know. Just... <laughs> he specifically hates things. I'm glad this one didn't have rain guards on it. It probably oh, would have been a 10. Yeah, been a I'm 10 giving it a four. Yeah. Nissan, you are, you do have a few flaky cars, though. I don't <laughs> Baked in a buttery, All right. flaky crust. Buttery, <laughs> flaky crust. All right, this one's weird. All right, so this gets real weird. Moving away from the norm, it looks like here we have a first car that's not a Nissan. I'm just kidding. Okay, and this so one, what is this, this one's a gray area. It's not necessarily a production that's car, right. but it was that's produced. Right. It was raced one time. Apparently, it's in the U.S. now. It still is alive. This is a Marcos Mantis XP. Super freaking weird car. So Marcos is a British sports car manufacturer. Okay. Um, only one of these was ever built, like I was saying. Uh, it was built to race once, and they did race it once. And that's it? Yeah, and then uh, they just moved it to the U.S. This is the weird thing. It had a three-liter F1 engine. Okay. That was removed, and they put a Buick V8 in it, to, from what I could read and what I got. Like, after they raced it, they yeah. swapped it? Oh, okay, okay. And then apparently it's still alive, but, like, that front end to me, some angles make it look like disproportionate. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, like the V. There's no way this thing doesn't go, go stupid fast. <laughs> yeah. This reminds me of that like ramp car from that one Fast and the Furious movie. Oh, which one? Ramp car? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know what you're like talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. This like thing, it looks like it's like just like a catcher for something. Like I feel like birds would just smoke the middle of that foot and it would just catch them or something. I, I'd be really interested to know. Like Look the, at how bad that is, that angle. Certain angles are just absolutely horrendous. <laughs> oh my I, God. I would just, I'd love to know the reasoning behind that. I mean, obviously they were trying something with like the aerodynamics aspect of it. Yeah, well, yeah. They're so trying. it's like, I don't know, that stuff like intrigues the hell out of me because it's like, I come from like an aviation background. It doesn't stop it's like, that, it's not ugly though. I know, no, it is absolutely Oh, I see ugly. the mantis. The yeah. green and then the arms. Mantis, yeah. Yep. Now I got yep, it. There it is. Praying mantis. It's still ugly. Yeah, I this, think this, this angle is horrendous. It's <laughs> just fugly. I'd like to see like a top down shot because that would just be. Oh, oh, the more you click, the worse it gets. <laughs> I just. Oh, that makes it look not that bad because it's all it's blown all apart. Up. <laughs> oh, thank you for the four ninety nine <laughs> donation again. Joe's the type of guy to throw away his umbrella because it guards him from the rain. Yes. That. Rain guards are trash. After O'Reilly's, it just messed gels up, and he you, can't stand rain guards. You'll never find me with an umbrella. Or That's rain fact, guards. Because I've never bought an umbrella. I've never bought an umbrella either. They're kind of just around. They just, just kind of exist. Yeah. Anyways. Pon ponchos. What the hell's on the hood roof of that? Uh, <laughs> that the mirror? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Actually. What yeah. the hell? That's exactly what that is. They're like, guys, guys, we forgot the, the mirror on the left. And they're like, oh, sh we need it for the race. 
put it on the middle. Can you see it? Yeah. And then they just ran it. Oh, that's not. So yeah, I was glad that this thing raced once and then was done because I think that's all it needed to do. I'd like to know more about I'm seeing a lot of ones in the chat. People like these. It's unique. Like I it there's it had to have been done for a reason, right? There had to be so oh my god. Yeah. Like I'd love to know more about it. I, yeah. I'm gonna go research this after okay, we're done. Right. I'm, you I'm have very fun intrigued. with that. You ready to rate it? Yeah, yeah. So ten being like the ugliest ten thing. Ten is it's beat with the ugly stick. One yeah. means that it's actually pretty freaking cool. Cool. Can it be cool and ugly? The chat's all over the place with it, but I am seeing a lot of low numbers. Yeah. Chat did kind of like this one. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, Six. seven. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. I thought you were going to give it a more like a, lower like a score yeah. because I thought you were you're kind of No, like it. it absolutely is like ugly looking. You're just it intrigued is. by it. I'm just very intrigued by it. Like I, I'd love to know the backstory of it. Lots of poop emojis. <laughs> I, I pooped, pooped today. today. Good for you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. Johnny, yes, Papa. All righty, moving on to Young Jelly's cars. All right, kicking her back a little bit. All right, what do we got? Uh, What's up next, baby? Some of these. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 this thing. Oh, this might hurt some feelings, too. You think so? The Chevy SSR. It's just weird. So but it had a big old freaking V8 in it. They did. And they had, like... They they had like a like an SS version of these too. Yeah. Yep. So like so these are like interesting. This was a weird part of like domestic cars, yep, right? Yeah. And I think I have all three of the major. That's just blowing up. Like three of the four major like <laughs> culprits of that time era on here. But the Chevy SSR, all right. I'm It's just straight up weird because it's like a car truck thing <laughs> that was like. What are you saying about El Caminos? El Caminos are all right. All right. Okay. Yeah. okay. It, it, it's like we're just making sure. Yeah, that's fine. The the thing that I think ruins it is like it's like a convertible truck. Yeah. yeah. Convertible truck. Yeah, like with a convertible top up too, they're even almost worse. I, I can't <laughs> picture it even. So with the soft top, do they have hard top ones? I feel like they do. Yeah. I feel like I that feel might like be okay. A hard top. So the really funny thing about these is I used to I used to intern at a place back home. Yeah. I did like. Um, like CAD drawings and stuff for like <laughs> it does look like machinery. the bottom side of them. But like the place, the place that I interned at, it was like the the people that actually worked there. Like there was a thing called like a high. You know, it wasn't the high vibe. It was like the SSR award. And oh yeah, like, I remember you telling me. So if like you were nominated for the SSR award, it was like it was like they did it like three months, like once they did three awards. Yeah. Like during the summer, and then if you were nominated and you won. You got to have the CEOs or the owners SSR to drive for the week. Uh -huh. And it was like the coolest shit. And I'm just like, what would you like, do? You get to drive and just go take it off a cliff? That's yeah. where I, knew. <laughs> I love how that's an award. <laughs> yeah, you can drive my SSR if you guys are. <laughs> Good. It was Everyone's so it like, actually okay. it actually so it actually did kind of progress from there and like they got to take like his like Camaro and stuff like that. So it was a little bit cooler. A Camaro's but, a little bit better. Yeah, I mean this thing was no. I guess I'd like to say that I just drived one because I want to see if there's any value there because like we said it has the big LS and a big V8. Yeah, but it probably, I would imagine this thing weighs so freaking much. Yeah, yeah. I, it's it is ugly. The front end, they tried to go with like this retro throwback look yeah. that did not play off. I feel like there's potential there, though. I feel like it's not. It was close. <sighs> Man. All righty, chat. What are you rating this one? It's really weird, like the, the badge like coming through and like cutting off the headlight and stuff. It's just like interesting. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it, has, it looks like the bottom half of a multiple, bro. We got eights, <laughs> fives, <laughs> tens, ten, eight, ten. Oh my God, six. There's a chance lighting up, baby. We got ones, a lot of tens. I am seeing a lot of tens. There's a lot of hate for the SSR. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, but there, it's weird because there's a ton of tens and then a ton of ones, and they just like comes like one, 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 one. All righty, you ready to rate this thing? Yeah. Where do I feel? Okay, it's, I know what I feel. Yep. Three, two, one, Nine. five. <laughs> nine? I this <laughs> thing just looks so cheap to me. <laughs> it looks so cheap. Like I would imagine I sit in this thing and everything is just gonna creak and and like like crack and yeah. snap and yeah. like it's gonna make so many noises when I drive it. Like look at that door handle. <laughs> the like, door handle is ugly. And the headlights are ugly. It looks like but... this thing was made on the like cheapest budget possible. 
I feel like, I mean, no offense to old guys, but I feel like a bunch of old guys do yes. this. Yes. We got to bring it back. <laughs> and then they brought it back, baby. <laughs> and this is what we Sorry, got. old guys. It's I'll okay. be old one day. All right. So looks I'll make like, fun of myself. <laughs> okay, this one's looks tough because like I don't on know how to. The last car of your list. How what to pronounce hell? it. Okay, so we have the, I'm, I'm going to apologize for the pronunciation on this one right away. The Mitsuka Orochi. Okay. Hell yeah, brother. So this car is named after a Japanese eight-headed dragon. Okay. So if you start getting those vibes a little bit. Yep. Uh, the designer of this car categorizes it as a fashion supercar. All right. Where's the fashion? Where's the supercar? Because listen to this. Oh, no. It came with a 3.3 liter Toyota 3MZ FE V6 uh, paired with a five speed automatic. That engine is also found in Camrys and Highlanders. Now, they might have spruced it up a little bit just no, to make they, some numbers, but um, still at its heart. It was still also 3,483 pounds, so it wasn't that light by any means. Uh, oh God! It was released as a production car in 2009, and that first production was just limited to five cars. There's only five of these made? No. Oh, just in 2009. Just that that initial launch. Now this is what gets weird about it. So, okay, it has some carbon fiber body panels. So there's your fashion, I guess. Okay. Uh, there was multiple versions of this car. So there was the Orochi Zero, the Orochi Gold Premium, the Orochi Final Edition, uh, the <laughs> 7-Eleven, Evangelion Limited Edition, and then the Orochi Devil Man. So there's multiple editions of this thing. Okay. Uh, let me see is some of the... One of, oh, oh, is this one of the free. editions? <laughs> Oh my God! That could have went on the most riced out cars one. This it could have. Looks like. Oh my God! It literally looks like freaking a Wish App car or like a old Celica with the crazy body kits people put on them. This is a Grand Theft Auto build gone wrong, is what this is. Yeah, honestly, honestly, I'm trying to see what some of these other editions came with. Oh, the one, the 7-Eleven one had multicolored paint. Um, it is a multicolored paint scheme designed to invoke the giant robots from the 1990s. <laughs> I love it, dude. Japan's wild. Uh, let's see here. I love anime crossover cars. Yeah, a lot of these were, like, anime-themed, honestly. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, this Arachi Gold Premium, let's see what that... That was a t run of 20 vehicles okay. for the Gold Premium. So there really was not many of these. No. Uh, uh, the Gold Premium model has both an additional front and rear spoiler modified variable note exhaust system with four tailpipes. Tail throats? Yeah, four tail throats. Okay. Uh, the interior used Alcantara on the seats and the steering wheel on the exterior. The Orochi Gold Premium has been given a new paint job with gold trim and badges from which it derives its name. Damn. I think this car is freaking ugly. Oh, it's terrible. You I said, think You said it had a Toyota engine, right? Yeah. Do you think that those headlights are from a Lexus GS300 as well? Nah. No? I think they might have been inspired, but okay. maybe. <laughs> may have, I think the fronts are a little like teardrop shaped yeah. more. Uh, <laughs> this thing, what are you guys thinking about this? What is the chat thinking about this? This thing is just god awful, man. I don't, there's too many curves. It I'm looks so, like it's trying to whisper something honestly, to you. <laughs> so like, to, to be completely honest, though, all right, if it wasn't for this front bumper and grill monstrosity, it wouldn't look half bad. Yeah. <laughs> they just, like, gave up. Like, uh, Is there any interior pictures of these? Um, let, me, let me see. I want to... Oh. The freaking auto transmission. Uh, Joel, oh. thank you for the three ninety nine donation. Says, is this actually live? Uh, yeah. Hi, bud. Hey, uh, bud. Keep <laughs> it up, guys. Thank you for the donation. Uh, the blue dragon, uh, blue eyes white dragon. Let's go. Uh, Two dollar donation. Thank you. Uh, the Panos Esperante GTR one. Look, Look that thing up. We might have to check out. Do a yeah. few fan submissions at the end of this as well. Um, oh, anyway. So, what do you think? About, thank you for the donation, guys. The interior is. Uh, not Sean Stewart, thank you. For not, the haircut compliment, appreciate not you. Impressed. Oh, what is that like hot topic door panel? I know. With, like, the, <laughs> I, know I don't know what they're called, but they're on like, yeah. like those the pants. Rivet, like the rivets you know those pants. Yeah. You know the pants I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. These, like the like the five fucking foot wide belts. Too. This is like 
somebody that had like five grand, they're like, I'm make my own supercar company. I'm gonna do it. And then, and then it. it came out with a Camry engine. Wide body. Hey, now that see what kind what I mean? of. See what I mean? Like the front end just kills it, right? Is there more? I wanna see a stock rear end. Yeah, not not absolutely horrendous in the rear end. I don't think it's pretty though. I don't think it's pretty. They really like the circle headlight taillight thing. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> it looks like a Ferrari after getting copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's There's an a... uglier catfish Camaro front end. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, two dollar donation. Do, Do a, a focus, focus ST <laughs> next. Yeah, we'll use mine. Thank you. Oh my god, bro. This thing is interesting. I don't know. You what got some it is. good ones. You found some good ones. Thank you. I did lots of research. Yeah. Um, all righty. Yeah, these comments are freaking wild. I love the chat. Thank you guys. All righty. So, should we rate it? Yeah, I'm ready. Let me think real quick. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give some points, good points to the rear end because it wasn't terrible. The front end though, deduct a bunch of points. Yeah. Interior, absolutely hated the interior. Yeah. Okay. That, that interior bumps up a couple for me. Three, two, one, eight. Seven. Eight. Yeah, the interior killed it. Yeah. I thought it had potential, and then that interior was just, no, nah, nah, bro. All righty. All right. Let's keep moving forward. So, so after, after I hit the SSR, I has kept going down the list, right? So I had to get the PD Cruiser in there because, my God, <laughs> you owned one of these. Yes, I did. I can... Just Come sense here. Sean Berger <laughs> white knuckling and getting ready to punch the computer screen if he's watching he's this his, right he's now. He's on his way in here. Right oh, now. yeah, he probably is. I uh, can hear those flip flops slapping from so, here. So, okay. Now, again, compared to everything else on this list, Not I bad. don't. When I was little, for whatever reason, I thought the PT Cruiser looked cool yep. as shit. And I don't mm -hmm. know why exactly, yep. but when I was little, I remember I even had a freaking like those little metal toy cars you Dude, can get. Yeah. I had a PT yeah, Cruiser. I have like a gold one sitting at home. So still. somewhere <laughs> deep down, <laughs> I don't know these where it cars came from. aren't bad. Now, these, these cars don't have that great of interior, also. Again, I feel like this is kind of like the retro yep. styling, trying yep. to bring back an old thing and then make it new, and it just didn't work. Um, and then all the chrome. They always got to put chrome on oh, everything as much as they so can. They hard with the PT chrome. GTs were kind of cool. Yeah. Not yeah. that bad. Um, now, yeah, I see some comments here. HHR? Or PT Cruiser? HHR all the way. Really? They did it so much better. I you feel think like, so? Yeah. 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 I, I mean, they're, they're similar cars to me. Uh, they both have that look. I Now, I do have a special place in my heart because I owned one. It was yeah. one of my first tell me, cars. Tell me about that experience. I beat the hell out of it. I drifted it. I took it into a few ditches. It you never let me down. Cruiser? In the snow, I should oh, say. Okay. Sorry, so it's not technically drifting. I did snow drifting. Junior M has a message for you. Oh, thank you. I uh, said it might because my dude got a haircut and deserves some Taco <laughs> Bell. Treat yourself. I actually ate Taco yeah. Bell today, so thank it's you awesome. very much. I appreciate the donation. Uh, it goes towards all the guys at Fitment Industries. Helps us make YouTube videos and all that good stuff. So say, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Maybe we'll all have to go to Taco Bell and get some tea. Joel has a follow-up question for $3.99. Thank you so much for the donation. <laughs> so <many> Taco Bell. <laughs> Uh, it says, how much do you spend on Taco Bell monthly? I'm going to say probably 11 bucks. I'm going to say probably around 2.3 million cheesy gordita crunches a month. That's a lot so, of cheesy gordita crunches. I put them down. Because one cheesy gordita crunch converts to one cheesy gordita <laughs> crunch. I know. So it actually, if you <laughs> do the math, it ends up being 2.3 million cheesy gordita crunches. Oh and uh, yeah, thank you so much for the donation. And now my secret diet schedule for my premium body is out. And <laughs> I'm a little upset about it, but you got it out of me. So moving forward, PT Cruiser, PT super Cruiser. ugly. Yeah. Um, not terrible, but not Not terrible, great. but on your base model production cars that we yeah. see everywhere, yeah, PT Cruisers are ugly. So I, I'll, I'll say this before we close it out. Yep. Chrysler made a wood green PT Cruiser. <laughs> Jasper <laughs> donated $2.69. What's Dakota's <laughs> PT Cruiser is what started rice. <laughs> and you're not wrong. If you didn't know, if you haven't seen these, I ripped out the back seats. And I put in, cruiser? yes. You've been ripping out back seats it, it was, your whole life. <laughs> I know, I hate them. <laughs> so there was a two-seater PT Cruiser. I had four 12-inch 
Alpine Type R's. Yep, of course you did. Um, I had underglow. I had interior lights. I had a stick-on hood scoop. Hell I man. had the tinted headlight and tail light covers. Like not like spray like covers. Yeah. They're like 180 bucks. I actually I don't. Anyways, so yeah, a lot of. Uh, if Dakota was a car, thank you. A lot of people say it looks like the baby's head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that. The other people said the baby don't come at me. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to rate this? Yeah, one? let's rate it. All right. Three, two, one, six. One, one baby. I own that. I'm going to own up to it. I That's love fair. that thing. That's what I appreciate about yeah. you. Stick to your guns. It never, like, I beat the hell out of it and I didn't know what I was doing and it lived. So it was the rice phase. Uh, thank you for your $4.20 donation. Love you guys. We love you back. Thank you. So moving oh, on to the trend. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh! Why do you got a soft spot for the? Plymouth no, I Crowley? don't. But I don't think people are gonna think it's that ugly. No. So here, here's here's my beef with it. It looks like Waluigi. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> this guy driving down the road is a wham. Yes. Purple. Yeah. You hit the horn. Wham. <laughs> I'll never be able to unsee that now. Okay, so here's my beef with Holy the, the Plymouth Prowler. I actually used to think that these things were the coolest. Yeah, I remember seeing them back in the day. All the time. Because, like, like, there was a dude back home that, like, collected these. He had, like, four of them. Oh, I don't and, like, know if they weren't that. The, well, he had four of them, and he would drive them, like, in, like, the parades and stuff like that. He'd have other people drive them around. Like, he collected them. But, uh, like, what's that? Joel, 299 donation thing. He says, anyone remember using this car in Cruising <laughs> Exotica? Thank you for the donation. So tell me more about this guy that freaking collected these things. Uh, I believe that they all got burned up in a fire. <laughs> that is a sad, sad yeah, story. It is sad. Well, maybe, but, no, maybe, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He set the fire after he realized what he was doing. These things are expensive. He couldn't sell them. It just claimed insurance, baby. I mean, it was a deal at car dealership. Yeah. These things were expensive. I think they still are pretty expensive. Really? Like, I, don't, I couldn't like, tell they you. They are pretty dang rare. Look I'm at not that fitment, lie. though. There's like no wheel gap, bro, in the front. <laughs> it's true. Because <laughs> the, whole, yeah, the whole thing moves. You don't have to worry about it. Bradley Chase, uh, thank you for the $5 donation. You guys are hilarious. Thanks for the uploads and content. If you want to be shocked, look, look at, at the, the Murano, Murano convertible. convertible. I right, think we'll we have to check that. We'll do it. some fan uh, ones that we'll look up. Thank you so much for donating. And it's awesome that uh, you enjoy our content. That means the world. It means so yeah. much. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Blitz says they're going for right around 40 k right now. That made it uglier. <laughs> I can't get over it. Honestly, I don't think it's that it's not, bad. No, it's not but terrible. Look but at it's that like, freaking orange side marker. That is the biggest side marker <laughs> I have ever seen in my life. These things are just so... Wah. It's just another one of those, like, oh, we got to be retro. We got to be, you know, like, take it back old school and, like, you know, like the hot rod days and stuff like that. And it's just, like, it's just another one of those ones where it's just, like, you know it's cheap. Yeah. You know it was built really cheap. It's a Plymouth problem. Again, this is another car I feel like it was kind of one of those throwbacks. Yeah, exactly. Trying to bring everything. Yep. Those never turn out, kids. No. So maybe just stop. Don't do it. <laughs> That's all I can see. I can't stop seeing it. it is, can we pull up a picture of Waluigi really fast, yeah, please? It's literally got his eyebrows. It has his mustache, bro. <laughs> How do you spell Waluigi? Like Luigi, but with Wa in front of it. No, you oh. really butchered that. I hope the chat couldn't see that. That was bad. Bro. All right, all right. Dude, it's, uh... it's got the nose, it's got the mustache, oh. and it's got the purple. Not that one. Right. Click images. Hold on. We're going to do something here. Oh, oh, gel's getting fancy. Oh, oh, I see what you did. There we go. Click images. Images. Oh, there we go. Oh. Man, you're really struggle busting. I got it. Well. There it is. Okay. <laughs> yep. Waluigi confirmed. Look at the big pink nose. That's the, the, the front end, the hood. Then we got the little bit of the hat with the windshield. Oh and then it's got the mustache. Some people say the Prowler looks awesome. Mario car. Wah. Wah. All right. <laughs> you read it? Yeah. I'm giving points for looking like Waluigi. That's the same, actually. Okay. This, but this thing went I'm up. deducting 5 billion points for the, the freaking orange side the markers. Football the football. Yeah. Football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're ready to read it. Yeah. Three, two, one, Five. six. Dude, and the, all six of those points came from the freaking orange side marker. <laughs> I mean it. 
I'm not gonna lie, like, yeah, these these cars did hold, you know, a little bit of soft spot in my heart, because just because like I remember them so much. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was just like I remember seeing it like all the time. I was Waluigi all over the place now. Alrighty, what else you got? Alright, so to close out the day. Yep. We are going Well, to, not closing out. Well, we're gonna do a couple fan ones from oh, right, our yeah, cars yeah. though. Yeah. So to close out my list, sorry. Um one that just Wow hurts. <laughs> this that was just out to like just hurt people's you feelings. You can't tell me that the fourth gen eclipse doesn't isn't just like a slap in the face to the first and bubble second butt, gen bubble, 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 Mitsubishi bubble eclipse butt, owners. Bubble, 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 bubble. This Dude, hurts. when I was in high school, I thought these were the coolest shit to hit the market. <laughs> yeah. I loved them in high school. Yeah, uh, that wheel gap is absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Again, this is a car they just freaking rounded everything yeah. out, and it did not work. So like 2008, I think 2007, 2008. Now maybe. for the Eclipse line, I mean, I personally think the the third gen is uglier than the fourth gen. Really? See, I don't mind the third gens that much. Again, that was another car in high school that I thought was cool. Yeah. But I think I'd take a third gen over a fourth gen any day. I think I would take a fourth gen. Maybe because I've seen a fourth gen that was like all wheel drive and sure. built and stuff. And it was actually kind of crazy. Yeah. But uh, 299 uh, donation thank you says, Y'all remember Need for Speed Hot Pursuit? Yeah, oh, yeah. I remember oh, Need yeah. for Speed Hot Pursuit. Yeah, these cars, you can mod them in some games, bro. These are some <laughs> dope cars. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think that. Oh. The, have you heard one of these things modified? Like, there are no good aftermarket exhausts for these cars. I guess I've never heard one. They are terrible. Unrendered, thank you for another $10 donation. Says, fourth gen Eclipse, still prettier than a Neon. Hey, oh, now. taking the jabs, hey, rated now. gels. Hey, now. My I mean, I, I agree with them. Neon? I would rather have a fourth gen Eclipse than a Neon. I mean, you're going to get a little more respect than like a SXT hey, I don't neon. get no respect. I don't get no respect. I drive fourth gen Eclipse, I don't get no respect. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, oh, chat, I'm curious what the chat, everyone watching, what do you guys think of this? What would you rate this car? Because I, I don't think it's that terrible. Joe's hating on it. It has the weird door handles, like from the I just don't think you can <laughs> the make SSR. them. Like, oh, it's, nine. It's tough to make look good. Two, I four, two, like. nine, just, neon SRT. Neon SRTs are all right, and I'm okay with those. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's kind of all over the place. It is. I'm seeing a lot of fours, yeah. a lot of low numbers. Three, four, one, two, three, ten. <gasps> Bless Pick you. up. Man, I don't know. That, that's kind of all over the it place. It is all over the place. I'm seeing a lot of lower numbers, honestly. A few tens in there, though, to weigh it. But mm -hmm. all right, I'm ready to rate this thing. All right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, two. six. You really like these things, huh? I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. Now, I mean, 2G clip billion times better. Oh, right. But like mm -hmm. in the grand scheme of the other yeah. cars on this list, it's yes. tough to put it higher than yeah. two. Yeah. No, I agree with that. I just. I, I took it personally. All right, chat, drop some cars that you want us to look up here and we'll, we'll take a peek. I need to see this. Hotkey away. That is the dumbest. Okay, so <laughs> Gels has a hotkey for the letter M. They set me up it, for failure. They knew I would the use chat. the M. No, we just need to get rid of the hotkey, Gels. I didn't make the hotkey. The sound's back, I promise. <laughs> Thank you, chat, for coming in clutch with the no sound. Oh, I appreciate Here, you guys so much. Let's do a quick replay of okay, what we were doing. So, so, I have it typed in to the search bar. We are going to experience this all at the same time. And I was wondering if it was going to be like a blue waffle thing. Like, yeah. is chat trolling us? I hope I'm not. going to trust chat, and we're going to hit <laughs> enter on this. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, Nissan, Murano convertible. Oh, oh my All right, God. hit images. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's like a juke convertible. <laughs> oh, no. Nissan, what are you doing? <laughs> Another Nissan. Damn it, bro. Damn it. Nissan. Never good my car. <laughs> oh, that's that Dr. Miro. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my car. Oh, I'm so sorry, Doug. Look at that. Folding up, though. Oh. You like that? You like I that? I like the spoiler on it, yeah. I'd drive it like that. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, this one don't look bad. Well, yeah, this that's was, a good one. <laughs> okay, this color combo though. Looks oh! Like, <laughs> looks like a goddamn mint chocolate chip ice cream going, it going looks down. Looks stupid. <laughs> it just doesn't even look ugly. It just looks stupid. Oh, that is. It just pisses me off. The the brown trim. Two dollar donation. Thank you. A 1932 stout scarab. We'll have to check that one out. Thank you for the donation. Now, ugh. again, reiterating myself because I can't stress enough. It doesn't look that ugly. It just looks stupid. Oh no. Donk. Okay. Actually, it's not okay. an Impala, so it's not a donk. It yeah, is a true. high riser. Yes. But oh my, is this the, like? Wait. Is this well, like? Wait. Wait. Is there a whole what community? What is going on? What if we stumble? <laughs> There's a whole community of these things. Oh man, we might be pissing off the Murano guys. Oh, they're gonna come after us. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine like four of these things rolling? Yeah, you guys talking shit about our cars or I what? do like them a little bit better as a high riser, not gonna lie. Oh, the, they're a thing though. We didn't stumble across one or two. There's a few of them. The, it, this is a popular thing. Okay, let's go back. Let's let's scroll up here um, in the chat. Let's see, we had a donation. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. unrendered. No, 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 not oh. that one. We read that one. It was a different one. Where'd it go? It's up. Uh, it was like that 19, oh, right there. 1932 oh. Stout Scarab. Let's check it out. All right, there's another one from you guys. Oh, we didn't get to rate the, let's oh, the rate Murano. it real quick. The oh, yeah. Nissan Murano. Chat, start rating this. I want to okay. see what you guys so are we're gonna, thinking. We're going to rate the mint green chocolate chip one. Oh, really? So you want the worst of the worst? Yes. We're at 10, 6, 7. Can we, can we pull up the chocolate chip one again yeah, for reference? Chocolate, chocolate chip, chocolate chip, uh, right there. Okay. Oh, uh, uh. All right. Duh, it's just pissing me off. Okay. Three, two, one, Ten. seven. Ten. That is, Ten. The grossest, <laughs> that is the grossest vehicle I've ever seen in my life. All righty. Let's check out the Stout Scarab. I have seen quite a few times Pontiac Aztec, so we'll have to get the... Oh. Yo, this kind of dope, though. This thing this is, is kind of cool. It's like a bus lowered. That guy's dope. <laughs> you look like one of them. This thing is awesome. I kind of like this toaster. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what I like about this, but I, I kind of like it. Who let the trolley off the track? <laughs> this, guy's, this guy is chilling back yeah, there. Yeah, look at that. He's having a slumber party in the back yeah, seat. And then there's a... just that. Wait, did you see that? Click that again. There's just a chair, bro. There's just a chair oh sideways in there. Oh, my God. Yo, see, that's dope. That is sick. That I is need not that. Bolted to anything. That's fine. That is. That's minor. the driver's seat doesn't even look. <laughs> that's what minor. Is going Dude, on? it's not about safety. It's about style. All right. This thing. I think it's fire. I want to go pick up Taco Bell in that, and you can just chill with the homies. Yeah. And lounge and relax. And I like it. I'm for it. I think we can rate this one very quickly. Yeah. You, you ready? See it? Like, look at the, even the headlights. They look like part of the grill. Yeah. Well, I don't know how I feel about the headlight covers. Honestly, I'd rather just have headlights there. Oh, look at the back. That's cool. Is this a, it's a it's, it's a, a toaster. Engine. It's a rear engine, I bet. The it's a fans toaster. Back yeah. Oh, oh it's the vent. Oh, this is how you use it. <laughs> look at that. This is how you use it. <laughs> how long are this dude's legs? <laughs> Zeke, thank you for the dollar ninety nine donation. <laughs> says, how do you feel about the? F I lost. The chat was blowing up. Uh, how do you feel about the Ford Sport Track? That's another one we'll have to look up. Um, I can't get over this thing, and I really like it. I dig it. Yeah, that's sick. I feel like the turning radius is ass, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Look at how much room is in there. Everyone is just laying in it, all right? I love how it's just a chairs. Just, just <laughs> you can, like, chair. reorganize it like your living room. I have a chair. It's pretty nice. You do you have, it? like, a picnic back there? I have a bottle of Crown. Oh, God. All right. Let's rate it. I'm going to make an RC one of these. We're rating it. Three, two, one, one. Negative one. Ne Fine. Yeah, what's that? What do you mean? That's yeah, good. well, sorry. I already <laughs> thought of it first. All right, we got to do it for the boys. I've seen it a bunch. Uh, Pontiac Aztec. Okay, yep. Now, Mom, I am so sorry. My mother owned one of these Dude, back in the day. And it was dope. It came, it's 20th anniversary. No. Okay, listen, though. Listen, I know I'm speaking from a different perspective here, but it had a DVD player in the back. Yeah. I was watching Finding Nemo in that shit, Spy Kids 3D in the back of it. And then also it came with a tent that attached to the back Yeah. that we never used, but it did come with it. You could camp in them. Okay, but they're ugly. Uh, yeah, $4.20 yeah, yeah. donation. Thank you. Says, seeing the vanning Batman yeah. or the Hyundai Fiago, Joe. Hell yeah. 
We have a few to check out there. Thank you for the donation, though. I appreciate you. Let's dive into this Aztec a little bit. Now, this is like a Nissan Juke before the Juke. It yeah. started with the frog lights. It did. <laughs> Not frog yeah, yeah, lights. It's, frog yeah, it's lights. the same thing. Frog lights. Like copyright Dakota 2020. Frog lights. I think that's how it works, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just yell it. So suck it, Nissan. Now I get frog lights. Yeah. That means you own the Juke. Right? Now, I've, I've seen a couple of these stanced out. How about <laughs> not that? Not that. No. No. <laughs> Who did that? Again, that's a car that just pisses me off. I'm just mad. I don't want to see that. That's kind of cool. Okay. That's dope. See, that's. Oh, it's a rendering. Okay. Yeah, but still. I got a little excited. That's okay. So there's potential there. Type in like slammed Pontiac. Oh, there's one. Go down. No, no, no. Go oh. down left. Bottom left. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christ. That's a lot of camber. Yeah, brother. That yellow one be thick, though. <laughs> <laughs> Got all the junk in the trunk. It's like the reception lady at the front desk in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Just waddles down the road. <laughs> breaking Bad, yes, the Breaking Bad car. Breaking oh. Bad shed a good light. Well, maybe a bad light on Potty. I'm not sure. It, it was a good show. Your stand on that. Bad scenarios. What's your stand on meth? <laughs> Bad. <Okay. laughs> Unless it's for a car. Uh, too real. Thank you for the dollar ninety nine donation. Says Pontiac Aztec or Toyota FJ. FJ all day long. FJs oh, yeah. are cool. Don't you talk yeah. crap about FJs? Yeah, FJs are dope. Yeah, what the heck? All day long, FJ. I really like FJs. Check all right. Two dollar donation says check out the Lada two one zero five. Thank no, you. That guys sounds for the a donation. little sus. It does sound a little sus, but I kind of want. I'm gonna check take it out. the camera off real quick. All right, yeah, we're going to search this, make sure it's safe. Lotta 2105. Oh, no, Jell's computer is hacked. I'm just kidding. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm, just, it reminds me of a lot of, like... Oh, wait, we didn't rate the Pontiac Aztec. Ah, shit. <coughs> I need a water. I've been yelling. Yeah. Pontiac uh, Aztec. Rating it. On one to ugliest. All right. Three, two, one, Seven. one. Love you, Mom. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. Standing up for her. I appreciate that. Yeah. I did hate You're the good car, guy, you know. I don't care what anyone says. I accidentally, <laughs> this was a stupid story, but I'm going to tell the internet it. <laughs> All right, let's go. So I was little. I had to be, I don't know how young I was, seven or eight maybe, and I had a butterfly net, and I was out catching bugs, right? Yeah. Like, good. I'm a kid, yeah. You buy them from the dollar store, yeah. right? Yeah, butterfly net. Don't judge me. It was a real long one. Yeah. It had a metal like tip the, on it. bamboo stick, right? Yeah, yeah. literally, that yeah, was the one. bottom from, like, Northern yeah. Merchandise okay. or, like, Dollar so, General, yeah. My mom just got this ass. She parked it in the garage. I'm out catching bugs, doing my thing. I'm like, man, I need a juice box. Thirsty. And I'm, like, scootering back down the driveway hella fast, you know, as I do. I have no idea and where this story's going. I go into the garage, and I'm just... Oh, down the side of it? And the metal tip oh. on the end of the butterfly net just scratched the entire car <laughs> from rear bumper to front fender. And my mom was pissed. Oh, no. She, well, I mean, she was pissed because I didn't tell her for two weeks, and she thought that her coworkers two, keyed her car. Two weeks? No, she's seen it. She just thought oh. she got, like, keyed or something oh, at work. Gosh. And uh, then I, I told my dad because I felt guilty, and then my dad told my mom, and she was pissed that I held out, but I did end up saying it. Yeah. So all of you that hate the Aztec, I did you a favor, I guess. <laughs> all right, we're ready to read it quick? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, wait, no, we did. No, we it. did. Sorry. Okay, uh, Bob Mann. Uh, no, read the whole name. All right, so Bob Mann, one, two, three, goo goo. Thank you so much for the $10 donation. Hey, you guys have been watching your videos for a while now. You've helped me build my car, and I've been documenting the process, too. You guys should check out the GMC Envoy XUV. Dude, that's so that's awesome. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Really appreciate that. That's super cool that's to hear. That's super cool. I'll have to check that out after the stream. So the Thanks, GMC man. GMC Envoy XUV. And then uh, Josie. Josie, thank you so much for the $2 donation. E46 Compact. I know the E36 compact. I've never seen the E46. So that's like the, it's like the weird, like, half Let half me thing. see it real quick. Okay, let's uh, talk about the Lotta real quick. Okay. These aren't bad. This looks fine. It's just boxy. Yeah. But I don't hate it. I would daily the hell out of it. Dumped it looks cool as hell. Another 20. <laughs> By the way, we have this <laughs> ongoing joke since I bought the 20th anniversary of Mola Yellow GTI <laughs> that anything yellow is it's now a 20th. a 20th anniversary edition. Yes. So if you hear us saying that repeatedly, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Here's a click it. 20th. 20th. Very, very small 20th. 20th. Bigger 20th. 20th. Oh, dude, it's the uh, Need for Speed. <laughs> no, that's that's Paul Walker's Skyline, kind of. 
Oh. Guy looks like the silver wrap. No, uh, that's, that's. <laughs> That is a good render. That is a strong message. Zesty Babes, thank you for your $2 donation. <laughs> Says, what about the Corbin Sparrow? That's another car I've never heard of. Can we look up the E46 compact, or should we yeah. rate this one yeah. quick? Uh, yeah, let's rate this one quick. Three, two, one, Three. one. I like it. That one, the 120th, that. How long have we been out for sound? Gels. Not long, ever since I searched. Oh, okay. ah! so yeah, again, if you haven't heard, it's coda.fi on Instagram. <laughs> Tag no, me in all of your 20th anniversary yellow cars you see. The key I'll share back it. at it again. Yeah, I know. You guys the keep MP telling me to search things with stop. M's in it. <laughs> yeah, you're in the E46 cop pact. Yeah. All right. $1.99 donations, thank you, says 1951 LRP2 Safari Wagoon. <gasps> wagoon. We do need a Wagoon in this. Yeah, we do. So we'll check that one out, thank you. Okay, but, but this, this, let's talk about this, because BMW, what the f <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> what the hell did you do? It wouldn't be so bad if they didn't mess with the freaking front end. The headlights. Why did they have to change the freaking that headlights? That so gross. And the rear, too. The rear isn't doing anything for me. No, no. Like it's like okay, oh, five dollar donation from Isaiah. Thank you. Hopefully this helps get, get better, better audio. audio. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna give that straight to Jels. Hey, yeah. five bucks to not hit the M button. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you hit it, you gotta pay me five bucks. Okay, deal. All right. <laughs> well, Dude, we need a jar now, for the stream and for every time I screw up the audio. We really should. <laughs> and then, then we can buy new mics. Yeah. <laughs> so if you cover up the headlights and decent. <laughs> Decent, honestly. There's potential there. Yeah. If you could do like a front end swap. I think people with an like, E46. Like drift the shit out of like these. Like I've seen or a lot of like the E36, E46 compacts getting just like thrown around. But man, the fact that like a team at BMW sat down and we're like, yep, this, we're making this. this. Send it through, send it through. Oh boy. $5 donation from not Waluigi, but Luigi. It says uh, 1990 Pontiac Transport. We'll check that one out, too. All righty, let's rate this thing. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Three, two, one, Five. six. Because there is potential there. Yeah. It's just the freaking headlights that... That killed it. That, I did mm -hmm. not expect that. All right, what was the one we were going to look... Oh, it was a Wagoon one. Yeah. Let Scroll me, uh, up. Let's find that in the chat real quick. There it is. 1951 no Allard M's, is there? P2 Safari. No M's. Thank you. Allard P2 Safari. Safari. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, Wood Wagoon. Wood. Wood Wagoon. Wagoon. W W. Wood Wagoon, baby. Now. Wagoon Lagoon. Can you scroll down and chat a little bit? So oh, yeah, sorry. Make sure. No, you're good. All righty. Wagoon. <laughs> Wagoon. Now. Dude. I think that thing's hot as hell. What are you guys on, bro? These cars are dope. The grandfather of Wagoons. Yes, this is Grandpa Wagoon here. Now look oh at that. God. I feel like it has a seat flipped around in the back. Oh, it absolutely so, does. So like you can chill again. Looks Wagoon. British, I agree. Yeah. But like imagine this on some wheels and on air. You'd win the car show, I guarantee it. Oh, absolutely. Because this thing's sick. Yes. All the wood. How many trees did it take to build a Allard P2 <laughs> Safari? I would imagine like Ron Swanson Maintenance built this car. And keeping like this thing from like warping and all that would just be absolutely terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if you got hit and all the splinters. <laughs> Tyler Johnson for dollar ninety nine donation says, "Oh, for Chevy Malibu Max." Now I don't know what that is. There's I know what a Malibu of, is. There's a lot of M's in that. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's rate this one real quick. I don't think this is bad, so I think it's easier rate. Yeah. Uh, three, two, one, Four. one. Wow, okay, so you're saying a bit ugly. I don't think it's ugly at all. I, I think it's cool. But let's check out the Malibu Max. Oh, right, for so Chevy. That's got, that has lots of M's. So that's got two M's, so it should cancel out. No. You're willing to whisk that? Whisk <laughs> it. You going to whisk it, Joes? If I can learn how to spell Chevy. Mute it. Max, okay. Let's check it. Over here. 
Let's check it. Check the audio. Are you still good? Oh, oh I oh, told you, you. Beat the system. I told you. Okay. I mean, eh. uh, bad. Now there was an SS of this. Was there? Yeah. Type in SS. I don't believe you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I knew a guy with one. Really? Yeah, it was weird. I was like, what the hell is so this? What, what was that? Was, was, was it like the V8? Because I knew the Malibus had like the V8. I think it was, I honestly can't remember if it had a V8 in it. It was a while ago. Okay. Regardless, oh God. it looks weird. Bring it half hatch, half Yeah, it, it like wanted to be a Wagoon. And they're like, <laughs> no hatchback. And then it just, <laughs> if it was a Wagoon, it might've been okay, honestly. It's not terrible though. I don't like the notch on the hatch. Like it's like, yeah. trunk. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird. Okay. We did the Nissan S Car Go already, so make sure to go back a little bit in the video and you can check that out. But yeah, yeah. we did the Nissan S Car Go. Yeah. Where were you at? Yeah, I agree. It doesn't look terrible. I've I've seen quite a few. I mean, the SSs, but yeah. I've seen quite a few of these, and it's never like, ugh. It's just like, I wouldn't buy it. Yeah. Three, two, one, three, two. Not bad. It's a little bit ugly. Yeah, they're, yeah. I would never buy one. Alrighty. What do we got in the chat here? Uh, All right, Subaru Tribeca is what we're going to check out. No M's. <laughs> All right. Oh. Ugh. I would imagine this is the one that they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's gross too. The headlights are gross. The grill is gross. It literally, like, if you took the Subaru logo off of it, you would never know that's a Subaru. It looks nothing like it their looks other like cars. Subaru. It looks like Subaru. It looks like a Aztec. Nissan. It looks like Subaru's Aztec. Yeah, honestly. Why, why would anyone want to replicate that? I don't know. That's just what they did. Like, they, oh, like, man. Oh, they did it. We have to do it. For real. Alrighty. This one, I mean, it's uh, ugly. Let's yeah. rate it real quick. I think we'll do one more yeah. after this. So chat, start lighting it up with what you want to see, and we're going to pick one. Uh, Gels, are you ready to rate this? Yeah. Three, two, one, Six. five. Yeah. That's ugly. That's pretty bad. Doesn't look like a Subaru. Who said drunk Hawkeye? <laughs> That's what that is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, mom, can I have Hawkeye? No, we have Hawkeye at home. <laughs> Hawkeye at home. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's pick one, Gels. Oh, God, they're just coming in so We fast. did the Fiat Multipa. Multipla. It's such a weird name. They're just coming in so fast. I know, oh my you God. just got to pick one. Uh, any mini money mo. Oh, that was a multiple. Multiple. We did that. Uh, any mini money mo. I keep seeing the Puma one. Puma? Yeah. Okay, there it is. The Yua Bayan Puma. Cheat code. I'm just going to copy it. There you go. That, it. We could have been doing the whole time. All right. Oh, oh, oh my this God. This is a good oh one. Oh, my God. This is a good one. All right. Let's what the, chat the hell is that? Let's chat back real quick. Oh, what is this? Lordy. This is like a combination of everything that we looked at tonight. <laughs> you have the Prowler front end. You have like that whatever the hell that you couldn't pronounce like yeah, intakes oh, yeah, on the, the sides. sides. Yeah. Oh my. You have the Murano convertible top. What the hell is this? Unrendered. Thank you for the five dollar donation. Says I was always curious to go to what does the sick tat on your forearm say? Did you read that? It's quick. And there's no secret. It just says, turn your wounds into wisdom. It was the first tattoo I ever got, and then immediately after I got it, I broke this arm. So it's a sad story. And I didn't get any wisdom. It was dumb. Anyways, John with the $2 donation says, Subaru Impreza Casablanca. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. White Subaru Impreza. Yeah, anyways. Okay, to bring that up, favor donation unrendered. What, did, did they come? What like is that? Did Why are there like mud tires on yeah, it? Did it come like that? It had to have came like this. Why does it look like it's inflatable? Why? What is, like, with the little... Because you had the meat D.O.T., like brother. It's like it's inflatable. <laughs> Oh, every bit of it is ugly. That's double digit. This guy likes it. <laughs> this could that guy would drive it. Yeah. He would drive it somewhere. Oh my god. I like the puma on the. Oh airbag. god. No. You imagine that puma airbag goes off, just boom, puma <laughs> permanently burned into your forehead. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's ugly. Thank you for commenting this. This, this was. Yeah. I want to know what's in it. Same. Hey, it was up for sale at. Oh, hard top. Oh, I just what the fuck is with the off road tires? <laughs> Why? Why didn't they just what is Ugh. it supposed to be? 
This is another car that looks like one of the ones you drew as a kid, except yeah. I think kids drew them better. Yeah. Like, what is this? For? <laughs> I just, what is this little, like, dingle dangle, like, kind of? Dingleberry. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. It's like the face you make when somebody tries to tickle your neck. That is too oh. true. Oh my god. I'm ready to rate it. Okay. There are cars, right? Yeah. That I'm really sad that we did not get in the United States. This, this is, is not one of okay. them. Okay. <laughs> I was a little scared with where that was going because sometimes you get weird and oh. I thought you were going to say, I love it. Yeah. I don't love this. No, I do not either. And I don't know why mud tires That's are That's not even, it's just an indent. It's not even a vent. <laughs> There's a lot of body panels going on. These things are huge. <laughs> yeah, they're massive, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> they're huge. The Puma. Dude. You imagine? Just... Look at how big it is. That thing's an absolute unit. <gasps> what the hell? I didn't realize they were this big. That's terrifying. Look at it. <laughs> it takes up like four car lengths. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Uh, do you stand I'm, up to drive? <laughs> stand yeah. up? To, it looks like they could be standing in there. <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. God. All right. Let's I'm rate done it. with this thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hot wheel gone wrong. Yep. Ready? No, not even bus okay. gone wrong. Three, two, one. Ten. hundred. <laughs> That's my first ten. That's the hundred. That was the hundred. Okay. Yeah, that was bad. Props on that one. Props. Oh, that was yep. interior look like. Was there a picture? I thought there was. It was a, bad. Yeah, yeah, it was. Bad. It was not very. It was very bland was the and boring. And then and they had Puma yeah. in, the, in the forehead. Yeah. And, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging out as always. And don't forget, I can't stress this enough. We got Black Friday deals going all month long, so make sure to check them out. Bunch of different deals, like right now, literally mm -hmm. right this second, we have airlift 10% off, 15, 52, 25 percent off, and then some even more deals on there. And then go and check every day because we will be announcing some new deals coming through and some good stuff like that. Also, you can get entered to win some BC Racing coilovers. Yeah. Three pieces of merch, including this hoodie, and this hoodie's one of my favorites. Every $5 spent gets you an entry to win, and we're making a donation to the Jed Foundation on mental health. So it goes to a good yes, cause, absolutely. super cool thing. Make sure to check it out. We appreciate you guys so much. Real quick, before, before, we, go, before we go, before we go, before we go, before we go. ain't going nowhere, If baby, you guys haven't heard, if you've been oh, here we hearing go. some this things. This is spicy. Right? We are starting a wheel company. Oh, baby. We have are starting our own wheel brand. It's called Artists of Wheels. If you haven't checked it out yet, artistsofwheels.com, we've been posting It's about a big it. freaking deal, it's man. It's a big freaking deal, right? And it's coming soon. Yes. I know we've been like teasing things here and there. People are like, just show us the damn wheels. 11-20-2020 is the official date. It's so if you can't do Big away. Mass, that's November 20th. That's coming up. Yeah. It's in a couple weeks. It's going to be a big thing. We're going to do a big uh, live event. It's going to be awesome. It's just keep uh, go follow Artist of Wheels on Instagram. Keep up to date on the website, artistofwheels.com. Subscribe for the newsletter so you can be the first to know everything going on. And on it's that, a big deal. It's, a, it's a Friday, uh, November 20th, on FI's YouTube, Fit Ministries YouTube. We will be announcing and showcasing the wheels. You get your first look at them and all that good stuff. Yep. So make sure to stay tuned. And thank you guys so much for tuning into the live stream. Wednesdays are literally my favorite. The chat is the freaking coolest. I love talking to you guys. Thank you. That's all I got. That's all I got. All right. We'll Have see a good rest of your week. Next Wednesday. Love you. Peace. It's Coda Dive High on Instagram. Take me in all the 20th yellow 20th. cars. <laughs>